For the Lewis structure for the nitrate ion, we have five valence electrons for nitrogen, six for oxygen, we have three oxygens, and then this negative sign up here means we add an additional valence electron for a total of 24 valence electrons for the nitrate ion Lewis structure. Nitrogen is the least electronegative. We'll put that in the center and then put the oxygens around it. We have a total of 24 valence electrons for the nitrate ion Lewis structure. We'll put two between atoms to form chemical bonds. We've used six valence electrons. Then we'll go around the oxygens to complete the octets or until we run out of valence electrons. So six, eight, and 24. So we can see that each of the oxygens has eight valence electrons, so their octets are full. However, the nitrogen in the center only has six valence electrons. To solve that problem, we can take and move these two valence electrons here between the nitrogen and the oxygen to form a double bond. Now the oxygen still has eight, but the nitrogen also has eight. So we've used all 24 valence electrons for the nitrate ion Lewis structure. Each of the atoms has eight valence electrons, so their outer shells are full. One last thing we do need to do is put brackets around the structure to show that it's an ion. So that's the Lewis structure for the nitrite ion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.